Hey. Hold on. Hello. Hola. How are you? I'm great. You are okay? I'm great. You are, you are awesome? I am awesome. You are awesome. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's too hot. Now, now listen, they're, they're, don't say that. <laughs> we are not allowed to say it's too hot. I'd rather be too cold. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, go away now. Goodbye. Oh, well. What do we do then? <laughs> hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. What do we got here? 1500 watts of solar panels up. Um, I finished the frames and I put the frames up themselves yesterday. This morning I put the solar panels in and I'll show you the back what we did here. And if you remember we had all these connected here so we did the same exact thing over here. We basically took the positive to the positive the positive here to the positive to this one, the negative to the negative, the negative to the negative, and they all get tied in together here, and it comes over, and we ran this into here and tied these all together, okay? So everything is tied together, and I had some extra um, pieces. Actually, these were these two long ones were sent to me, um, and I can't remember who sent them to me, and I apologize, but they were sent by a subscriber saying that, hey, you might be able to use these, and we did. We hooked them into here and ran the extra cable into here and tied that all in together. So now I have 1,500 watts of solar up, okay? So my cousin Doug came over today, and after two trips to town and being on the phone with Bill of uh, Bill and Rosa off-grid a couple times, and... Again, he was instrumental, a lot of help. Um, his guidance is, I can't even begin to tell you how much it has meant to me. Um, the one thing I do have to do, just so you guys know, I gotta put the outer frame on and just cover the edge of this. So I have to do that yet, but it's not happening today because I'm tired today. Um, so I'm gonna take you into the building and show you what we did here. Now, I did have one major screw up but it can be fixed. <laughs> um, I told you guys I would show you the good and the bad. Well, let's see. So hold on a second. I wish I could, you could see better, but okay. The bad, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but this battery terminal, right, yeah, you can't even really see. But uh, I fried one of the battery terminals. Um, I touched... A wire to where I shouldn't have and I fried it up so but the battery can still be saved um, I just got to do uh, a drill bit down into it and then put another post in it so the battery can be saved so right now I'm on eight batteries instead of 12 um, right now the batteries I don't know if you guys can see this it's a 27 2 I uh, got 384 watts coming in in uh, 28.8 volts, 14.1 amps. I'm going to have to do something so you guys can see this better. But uh, we got everything wired up. I mean, everything is wired up up in here. Yeah, I'm going to have to get a better light. I'll do another video on this. But we got the Whizbang Junior Junior hooked up, and uh, Bill actually walked me through the setup of that after we got it all hooked up. And uh, so we have, um, it's later in the day now, so the sun is not in the best position to catch all the, the panels. But um, we got everything wired up. Um, I screwed up and cooked that one terminal, but we can uh, tap down into it, put another bolt on it, and it's still going to be fine. Um, the battery's still good. We checked the voltage on the battery. The battery's still good, so... Uh, just a minor setback. It's what happens. It's how you learn. For a minute there, I thought I had made a $258 mistake, but um, I talked with talking with Bill. He said, "No, just make sure the battery's good." Which the battery was still good. He goes, "Those are um, just lead, so we can just drill down like a half inch with a drill bit and uh, screw another bolt in there, and we'll be good to go." So. I'm like, sweet, that's awesome. So that's actually going to be a project that happens next week to get us back 
up to um, where we want to be with the four or no, with 12 batteries. Uh, so yeah, because like right now, if you see with the way the sun is over in the sky here. See, is that off? I can't tell. No, it's still on. Okay. I don't know what happened there. So the sun is there. And uh, these couple panels aren't getting a ton of sun at the moment. But these ones are getting all the sun. Yeah. Now, earlier in the day... Yeah, Bubba. Okay, I'll go up these. Yes, go ahead. Um, these other panels here get more sun early. So... Um, this is what I got going on. I'm pretty excited and uh, I want to get at least another 750 watts up before the snow flies. Now what I'm going to probably end up doing with the panels, I'm going to slide them up to the highest level and then screw in so that they stay up, up higher, okay? Just so you guys know. Um, I just put them in here for now so that they were in, got them wired up so they're wired up and uh, now we're good to go. But um, like I said, I'm pretty excited. Uh, the frames came out pretty decent. I can't say they came out horrible. They came, didn't come out perfect, but, you know, for my first time doing them, I don't think they came out bad. Like I said, I just got to put the bracing on the outside here, which I will do that. Uh, I'll probably do that tomorrow. And I'll try to get some light in the battery room and really give you um, a more detailed look at what we did today. It was a long day, guys. I'll tell you what. It's uh, And again, I'm going to say it right off the top. I am not an expert at solar. I am not an expert carpenter. I am not a plumber. I am not an electrician, okay? Um, I am a nurse, that's what I do for a living. So everything else I'm learning as I go. But here's the thing, the more knowledge is power. I always looked at it like that. Anything you can learn to help better yourself, the better you're gonna be. So learning how to work this solar system and do it and do it the right way, um, that's what it's all about. And so, you know, with getting these next three panels up, it, it's a huge thing for me. I'm really happy about it. it it's going to put us in a lot better situation. It's going to give us a lot more power. Um, so that's a good thing. And, uh, you know, we're just, we're coming along. Uh, my pink eye is still here. It's getting better. And there's Max. Hold on, i got to show you Max because he's just too cute. Maxie! What are you doing? <laughs> He's a very gentle cat, aren't you, baby boy? Yes, he's very gentle. Um, but anyhow, you know we're um, we're moving along. You know, um, getting these projects done. This was a huge one, guys. I can tell you, this is a huge, huge project. And I want to see. I'm going to do some tests and see how long we can run at night um, with this. So we we will see. You know. Um, and uh, like I said, it's been a very, very long day. I'm looking forward to seeing how much power we bring in in a day now. The max that I brought in was 750 watts was 2.1 kilowatt hours. I did that once. Two, duh, um, I hit two kilowatt hours a few times. Cloudy days, I was lucky to get 0.6 kilowatt hours. So, um, you know, with more po solar up now, I think we're going to be in better shape. We're going to get more you know, more input coming in. So I think we're going to be in a lot better situation. We'll see. I mean, you know, it's uh, trial and error. And, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm working at it. So I'm real excited. It's a really positive day. It was a good day. Got a lot done. Very productive. And, I, and that makes me feel good. I mean, I'm tired now. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I'm really tired. No screwing off today. Um, but we did good. We got a lot done. Got it accomplished. It's a lot of work. Man, a lot of work. But anyway, it's a good feeling. It really, truly is, you know. And uh, here we are. We're doing it, you know. Um, we're making our lives better. And that's the key. And, uh, you know, um, I was sitting here this morning. I wanted to share this with you guys. And uh, what you hear, like, right now is what I was hearing this morning. Heard the birds, the wind blowing through the trees. Peaceful. It's quiet. It was just, it was, it's awesome. And, you know, um, to escape the madhouse of suburbia and to get out here and to be free, you know, um, it, it's, it's incredible. I don't even know how to describe it. I mean, it is just, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. But, uh, you know, it, it's, uh, it's like anything else. You know, you put the effort in, you're going to get out what you put in. And uh, 
So we're getting there. Um, I want, like I said, I want 750 more watts before the snow flies and try to make that happen. Um, you know, I uh, have invested a lot of money into up here already. So it's, uh, you know, now with being out of work again, but I'll be back to work soon. So that's a good thing too. I'm not going to be out three weeks. There's no way. So, um, all right, guys, listen, I will talk to you all later and uh, we're moving in the right direction. So listen, again, you know, life is too short to be unhappy. It really truly is. If you're unhappy, change your situation. You know, I don't care if you've always wanted to do, I don't know, let's say you always want to learn how to play the piano, but you just have never done it. Go do it. What are you waiting for? Life is way too short not to do these things. Ran into a guy the other day, I was out on my bike, and uh, I was getting gas at the gas station. And he looks at me and he goes, man, he goes, always wanted to get a bike, always wanted to get a Harley. And I said, well, why don't you? He said, well, you know, he goes, I'm 61 years old, and he goes, I, I really, I really want to do it now. I said, you know what? Do it, because you never know. You never know when your last day is. And I'm going to tell you, going in the ground with regrets, that's not the way to be. You know, live your life, enjoy your life, really. I mean, it's really, really important. Be kind to the people around you. Be there for your loved ones. That, I mean, family's what it's all about. It really, truly is. And family doesn't have to be blood. I mean, I have people that I consider family that are not blood, you know, but they're my family. So, you know, and they know who they are, you know. Well, uh, one's in South Carolina, one's in Maryland. You know, you guys know who you are. I don't even have to say your names. So, um, you know, that's just an example. There's very few people that I would do anything for. Very few, I'll be honest with you. I have a lot of acquaintances. I like to say that, that's the, a lot of acquaintances. But true friends, they are few and far between. I can tell you that. And, uh, you know, two that I can think of, like I said, right off the top of my head, one's in Maryland and one's in South Carolina. Those are my true friends. And uh, they will be there for me and I would be there for them. And I know that and they know that. So. But uh, if you can count the number of true friends you have on your one hand in your lifetime, you are indeed a lucky person, okay? That's reality. So anyway, guys, I'm rambling, and I apologize. Be kind to each other. Love your family. Tell them that you love them because you never know when it's over. You really don't. And uh, you all have a great day. Um, this has been a beautiful, wonderful day. Weather's been fantastic. It's about 84, 85 degrees up here today. Just absolutely beautiful day. All right, guys, have a good one. Prepper Nurse went out for now.